You're going through a learning curve. Thank you. So go, keep going, keep walking. You're going through a learning curve. There you go, turn, keep walking. As long as you don't get him excited, you're good. As long as you don't get him excited, you're good. And as long as you don't go hands on. Shaking it off, right? That's good. Yep. Come back over here. All the way to this X and make him sit. Sit. Nice. Don't set him up to fail. Don't get him excited. That's great. Don't look at me. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> That's good though. So remember, getting them excited set them up to fail. So we have to manage our emotions. That was really good. So he's the type of dog that's gonna do better off leash than on leash. You can see it already. Proof is when we were outside and when we're in here. All right, one more, all the way back again. It's good to come. Heel, 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 pump, heel. Okay, if he goes to the other side. No, N-O. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Good or no? Good. Yeah. And then walk. Good. Right there. Sit. No, right there. Good. Don't get caught up Sit. for it to be perfect. What you want it to be is functional. Okay. Not perfect. Come. Sit. You want it functional. You want it reliable. Yes, he's going to make mistakes, but you can call him back. Okay. Yes, he's going to do this, but you can be able to call him back. That's functional. Mechanical would be if he's perfect right next to you, looking up at you perfect. You don't want that because that's a robotic and that usually entails it to be robotic to where if he sees something, he's gone. No, you want it like this. Good boy. Right. Okay. Start walking, tap your side. Tell him to heal. Good. Very unemotional too with him because he gets excited too easy, right? And he's used to you guys getting him too excited. Don't. Manage your emotions. The trainers who tell you, get them excited, love them up. You walk them. You deal with that. <laughs> Too much of it. He, he feels good about himself. All right, keep walking. Tap. Very good. All the way down. All the way down. Now walk. Nice. Nice. Good. Nice. Keep going. Tell him no. There you go. Good. Nice turnaround. Very good. Hello? Good. Your voice is now the verbal command. Your, no, your voice is now the leash. So when you would pull him back, now you're going to say the no command. All right, one more time. And he's a lot more self control. Encourage him. Encourage him. All the way. There you go. Encourage him. Encourage him. Encourage him. Sit. Right there. Nice. Nice. I don't, I can't. I know. Well, you can, but if you do, what's going to happen? We've already known that. Now, would you be able to touch him later on as he gets older? Absolutely. But right now, during the learning curve, where he gets too excited, we're going to manage our emotions so we don't set him up to fail or we don't create a bad habit like you've been doing before. Right. I'm not saying you can't. Of course, you love your dog. Yeah. But understand, too much is going to set him up to fail. Let's do one more. That was a good minute and 45 seconds. Keep going. Nice. Now he's got it, right? Turn to make him sit. He's got it now because he's got a recall memory. We talked about before I started the camera. He's going to have a recall memory. He's got to remember this. Not muscle memory, recall memory. All right, keep going. And no, good. Now walk. No, tell him no. He gets ahead of you. No. There you go. Come back. Come on. He's getting confused, right? Hey, right, turn. Now walk. Let's go. Good. Very good. Nice. Nice. He's getting confused, but let him go through the learning curve. Right there, stop and have him sit. Have him come to you. Have him come to you and sit. Now, he's getting confused because he's used to getting ahead of you. No big deal. That's a learning curve that he's going to have to deal with. So what I want you to do is before he gets ahead of you, tell him no. Okay. Don't wait till he gets ahead of you. Right when he gets half an arm's length away, say no and bring him back. Okay. All right, walk. Good job. No. Good. Perfect timing. Now walk. Come on. Let him go through a learning curve. 
Nice. Nice. See, now he's not going to do it again. Good. All the way to the other. Sometimes just take once or twice. Tucker. Uh -huh. Love him up a little bit. Love him up. He needs a little bit of soothing. Because this is confusing as hell, Mom. You, you're saying no when I get ahead of you. You're saying, what the hell? <laughs> But really, this is just added bonus to him. I just wanted to do the come command with a small dog. Yeah. This is just icing on the cake. It this is, is great. Yeah. All right, walk him one more time. Because, yeah, he snuck out the other day. And we're like, oh, great. Tucker? No. Yeah. Beautiful. Tucker? Right there. One more time. All the way to this X, and then you'll have him sit. Oh. Nice. Talk to him some more. Come on, keep talking to him. Break that confusion. Break that confusion. Come on. There you go. Come on. Keep coming. Come on. There we go. Right there. Love him up, poor guy. Love him up. And you brought me a dog the other time that was nuts. I mean, jumping, crazy, barking. And we got it. We got to one, make him grow up and make him think about this. Yeah. Yeah, that, my big one was I just wanted to be able to come when I'm calling. Yes. And With small dogs, yeah. Our other dogs would sneak out the front door and then we'd be like, come, oh, come. And they'd Nothing. This one, so you know how to do it now. They wanted, and then they'd be like, oh, okay, hi, me, pet me. No. Oh, no. All right, let's see you do it again. Tap your side. Okay. Heel. Encourage her. Heel. Keep an eye on her. Heel. Keep an eye on her. Heel. Okay. Heel. Good turn. Okay. Heel. Tell her no. No. There she's back. She's on your left. Go. Just go. Okay. Heel. Keep an eye on her. Heel. Doesn't so matter which side. Heel. But at least she's not running, jumping all over you, right? <laughs> Stay there for a minute. Soothe her a little bit. Okay. Love her up a little bit. Yeah. Love her up a little bit. <laughs> we got to get her to grow up, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Like it took me 38 years, so it didn't take her long. <laughs> Walk a little bit. I know. I know. Heel. Look at that. Heel. See a click? Heel. Right next to you. Heel. Yeah. Good girl. Heel. Good timing on the praise. Perfect. Turn. Right there. Have her sit. Sit. And down. Just say down. Nice. Good. Good. Woo. It was tough for her, wasn't it? Very. Very. But your beginning training did was great to get her started. It really was. Okay. I mean, she even came off lead already before you before you came to my class. Oh yeah. Yeah, she, you could yeah. tell. Yeah. Great. But you needed to do the impulse control. I need to relax and walk next to mom, take a deep breath, and control myself. She dictates the pace, not I. And once she, once it clicked, it was good. Wow. One more time, back and forth. Sky, heel. Sky, heel. Bend down, encourage her. Sky. Now walk. Heel. Heel. Good girl. Good girl, Sky. Heel. Turn. Tap. Heel. Nice. She's coming up. Encourage her. There heel. you go. Right heel. there. Turn and just make her sit. Sky, sit. Nice. No, you're good. You're perfect good. Good. Yeah, your husband? Oh, there you are. He's hey, filming. Hey, listen. She deserves some hell of a good roses right there. Oh, that's really good. That was excellent. Your dog even likes it. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It is. But your brain. Oh, you know, anytime you're ready. You can help him out for the set. You can help him out because he's a little timid right now. All right, now walk. Tell him to heal. Just heal. Heal. Encourage him. Come down. Now walk. Good. Praise him. Talk to him. He needs some encouragement. There we go. Turn. Tap. Nice. Keep going. Isn't that easy? Yeah. It's easy. Come back again. This way. Now that he understands what's expected of him, it's easy. Well, before he did it, go all the way to the other X and make him sit. He's thinking, why is this guy next to me? It looks the same color as me. He got something in his hand. Right there. Make him sit. Sit. Take your time. Take your time. He's not being disobedient. Just overthinking. Help him out. Help him out if you want. There you go. Help him out if you want. Now, make him down. Make sure he downs. 
Good. Now tell them to stay. Come on over here. Turn and face him. Yep. Because if you're walking forward, he's going to think you're, you want him to heal. All right, go ahead and call him. Nice, soft voice. Call him to you. Tell him to sit before he gets to you. Beautiful. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but remember, taking him for walks where there's a lot of dogs is setting him up to fail. If anything, find an outlet that complements his instinct. He can, there can be other dogs around just like here. Yeah. You're exposing him with other dogs, but you're also releasing his outlet at the same time. Yeah. All right, go ahead and walk some more. You can even help him out to start with. Just help him out a little bit. Come on, let's go. Jack, heel. Heel. Jack, heel. There he goes. There Jack, he go. heel. Heel. Tell him no. No. There you go. Heel. Now walk. Praise him. Good boy. Good boy. Right there. Keep him there. Keep going. Good boy. Turn again. Turn again. Keep going. Keep heel. walking straight. Heel. You're going to turn at this X too. And you're going to go all the way back to this other one. Keep going. Heel. Keep going. Keep talking to him. Heel. Come on. Now walk to the other one all the way and talk Heel. to him. All the way. You're going to go to the other one and you're going to have him sit over there. Heel. You're doing good. Keep it up. Talk him into Heel. it. Come on. Forward. Come on. He's, 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 gotta make, he's trying to make a choice. Heel. There you go. Right there. Make him sit. Sit. Nice. Oh, At five months. That's really good. He was just growling. He's like, well, he's seen another dog. Well, I think it was... More or less, uh, trying, you know, saying I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it. So. Uh, it's a grumble. Uh, yeah. uh, too bad. Too bad. Oh. Too bad because oh. you know how bad he can get off lead. Yep. Yeah. You know, a lot of times these dogs with his temperament, you have to go. You have to live around them. No, from me. Right. All right, go ahead and tap your side, tell him to heal. Come down, come down to his level. All the way down, all the way down. You'll see the difference. There, encourage. Good boy, now walk. Good boy, praise. There you go. Good, no, good. Turn, keep, keep coming, keep coming, don't stop. Don't stop. Tell him no, no. Come, come. Good, he's, he's a little bit of a conflict, right? What should I do? Come, good boy. Good, he's Come off away. lead. He's so used to you putting him on the lead, it makes it difficult for him. Right there, tell him to sit. Tell him to stay. And then come all the way down past me. Turn and face him. Stay. Then you're going to call him, okay? Stay. Anytime you're ready, call him. He's come. He's come. He's come. Tell him no. There you go. Call him. Praise him. Encourage him. He's showing you respect. Good. Sit. He's not used to coming when you call him, is he? <laughs> He's having a hard time with that. Yeah, it's, it, there's usually it's a slow, real slow walk for him to stay. Yeah. Stay. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Encourage him. Good boy. Good boy. Encourage him. He's coming. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Sit. Sit. The, the, the variable here, Gary, is that, Gary, right? Jerry. Jerry. The variable is, there's distractions here. Yeah. He's trying to, should I go, should I pay attention? I better not pay attention. I better come. All right. That was very good. Can I do it again? Um, here. And then the more you do it, the more consistency you have to it. Very good. Excellent. All right, just walk back and forth. Tell her to heal. Hey, heal. Yeah. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Turn. Keep talking to her. N-O. Good. Heal. Nice. Keep going. So when she stops, tell her no. No. Good. Keep walking. Keep going. All right. Keep walking. Tap. 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 Come. Heal. Good. 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 Keep going. Let her go through a learning curve. One more, then you're going to give her a break. Yep, keep talking to her. Nice, 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 nice. Now, it's not easy for her, is it? So keep talking to her. Keep talking to her the whole time. Okay. Even though you sound funny, keep talking to her. There you go. Good 
girl. There you go. There you go. You'll break it. Now turn and keep talking to her. There, see the difference? Yep, it helps confusion. Excellent. Good. Keep it one more time. Good training video for people whose dogs go through confusion. Just keep talking to them to help them out. And have her sit right there. Haley, come. And out. No. Good. Come and then sit. Sit. No. And, and then tell her to down. Very good. All right, Susie, and you can go in here now. Okay. Back and forth. Thank just you. tap your side. Yeah, he's going to cling to you. Were you doing this before class, this stuff? He's just always going yeah. to me, so. Just keep walking? Yep. Yeah, I can tell it really wasn't class that did it. It was just his style, mm -hmm. which is good. The class helped him to be exposed to other dogs. The, the class helped him to manage him around other dogs. But you, you had already the training. Right there, make him sit. Sit. So Stay. the class was more designed to how to manage him. Mm -hmm. Sit. You did a lot of the good training. Just walk, stay. just, keep, oh, you can do the stay. Yep, That's just, all. yeah. All right, just keep walking with them back and forth. It, it, don't they call these dogs Velcro dogs? Yeah, he is definitely Velcro. Yeah, he's Velcro. That's good though. I mean, nothing wrong with that. He doesn't, he doesn't perceive your, you know, your love as weakness and he's not protecting you. So it doesn't matter. He's fine. Right there. Make him sit. Sit. Yeah, you're fine. Show off. <laughs> that, was good. that was good though. Just, yep, clip it right behind her. Because the head halter just manages her. You want to go completely off lead to train her. All right. And then tap your side. Tell her to heal. Heal. She can go on either side. And just start walking. Very good. All right. Turn. Tap. And keep walking. Nice. Nice. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Turn, make her sit. So, you know there's not any impulse issues. No, come. Good. Sit. She just got a little ADD, right? Because she she's a hunting dog. Yeah. All right, come. walk some more. Heel. Heel. So, you, you, you got to find her a job, right? Yeah. Chasing a ball, chasing a frisbee, doing something. My husband wants to know. Um, Keep tap, come. tell her no. Come. No, come. There you go. If another dog is excellent, no, no, definitely not. Okay. Yep. No. It would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't help her having another dog. What would help her is to have her, give her a job that complements her instinct. Let her soothe herself. Yep. Let her relax herself. So you find a job that her brain can utilize, like it was working. So if she's go ahead and make her sit. So if she's a bird dog, a honey. If she's a bird dog, and then a frisbee. Would be good because the f no. No, come. No, come. Sit. If she if she's a bird dog, a frisbee would act like a bird. Okay. And that complements their instinct. Okay. So so she's good. Have her stay and walk backwards. Stay. And just walk back and then call her. Come. Nice. Sit. And treats would make her look functional. Excuse me, mechanical. It just sure. looks good. It wouldn't be functional with sure. her. Right. Okay. Did you try treats? No. Okay, good. No. She don't need no, it. because we knew from the first one that that wasn't the way to do it. Right. So. If she was a puppy, you could start with treats. Okay. But you already got her as an adult. Mm -hmm. You got somebody else's issues that they didn't do. Right. And you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> That's it. Just tap your side. Tell her to heal. You got it. Tap. And just go. Look at that. If she gets ahead of you, tell her no. No. And keep walking. Keep walking. Tap. There you go. Nice. Turn. Good. And uh, there you go. Keep going. Look at that. She's doing a little bit of a dance. You're okay. She's happy, isn't she? Yeah, her favorite thing. Walking. Yeah. No. Good. Keep walking. But off leads even better. So you're not causing any stress around her neck. All right, right there. Stop. Tell her to sit. There, she did it already, huh? Isn't that easy? No squirrels. Well, squirrel's instinct, isn't it? And then you got her when she was much older, too. I know. So how many times did we know of that she's been successful in getting them? That's self-rewarding. 
We don't know. So, but you needed training to at least to at least manage her. Yeah. So if she gets ahead of you, just say no. She's doing good though, and then tap her back to her side. Keep going. Keep going. Not and good. I'm not stopping the video. Keep going. Doing good. Right there. Turn and just have her sit. Sit. No. Sit. Tell her to stay. Walk backwards. Stay. And anytime you're ready, call her. Come. And just have her sit when she gets to you. Sit. Nice. That looked good. How old is she? How old do they think? Eight. Eight. Wow, that's very good. Yeah, do a little more healing with her. Okay. Do some more healing with her. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the heel down, but he's figured out the stay command with your body language. One's over here. There you go. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. He's doing good in the heel. No, get back here. Come on, sit. He's got a good phantom correction. Down. No, down. So yeah, keep go keep walking. Keep going, keep going with him on the other side. Tap, tap your side. Keep going. Now does it doesn't matter which side? Nope, not when you start. Not to start you don't. If you want to polish him up, then you, it does. You use a toy or even a treat to polish him up. Keep walking. But right now you're teaching him to be at your side without pulling. So you have so good you have boy. good control. Good boy. And then eventually, eventually outside, this is a good way to start. Come on. Keep talking to him. Connor, come on. Good boy. Nice. See that? How easy that is? Good boy. All right. Just make him sit. Sit. Yep. Sit. You could even help him out a little bit because he's. There you go. Good Very boy. good. Nice. Good boy. Nice. It's your first time doing it with him, isn't it? Yeah, I've only been home two days. She oh my gosh. Yeah. Great. Good boy. All right, so you're gonna put the leash back on him and just give him a break. Just That's do it. excellent. Good boy. All right, walk back and forth, Joe. Huh? Nice. Nice. Not bad, Joe. Turn, come back again. This way. There you go. Nice. And then you're gonna come over here, you're gonna turn and make him sit. Okay. And get over here. I'll come on this way, right there. Here. Sit. Either side, doesn't matter. Nice. How old is he? Six months. Oh man. He's six months and he's bigger than me. Alright, walk some more. Walk some more. We'll get more out of this video. Nice. He's walking right next to you. Doesn't matter which side, as long as he's next to you. No impulse issues with him, right? Nope. We fix those with the right collar, with the nylon collar. Keep talking to him, keep talking to him. He needs a little bit of encouragement. Let's go. There you go. Come on, boy. Right there, turn and make him sit. 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 Beautiful, Good Joe. Boy. How about the DLWN, Joe? Down. Front down. Up him out slow, slow, nice and slow. Everything slow. Nice. So, remind yourself that when you tell them to down, you're going to say the word first, give them two seconds, three seconds, and then follow through. What he's doing now, as soon as you grab him, he make him down. So he's thinking that you touching him makes him down. To fix that, just pause in between the command and you're doing it. And that'll fix it. But he looks good. And he's not dominant, so you don't have to worry about it. The down just relaxes him. At six months, he's this good. Mm -hmm. You keep doing this, you got it made. Well, I'd like to get him his paper so he can go into facilities to be a therapy dog for like patients and that. Well, he's 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 on the way to a good a good good start. I tell you that right now with off leash control.